Well done. I'll be the first to admit that I wasn't sure about pressing on with a grand jury, but you got him. What meeting were you in? He's willing to plead to us be clad of cotton candy, otherwise own personal Watergate. How's it a cover-up if we force him from office? He gets to say he was railroaded. Tax evasion? Fine, we'll put him on trial. So hijack the nation with a public fight? For years and possibly for nothing? I don't care how good with a jury you say you are and might even be. There's no precedent for this. They might just refuse to convict. With what we have now, how could they? Because, as repugnant as you find Agnew, people like him more than they like you. What about the statement of evidence? It would be a record into the court proceeding. That's not the same thing. Elliot, the court's gonna force Nixon to hand over the tapes. He's hanging on by his fingernails at this point. If Agnew is still in when Nixon goes, we'll go from one felon in the White House to another. This is the deal we can get right now. Any deal that lets him walk free is a miscarriage of justice. This is the deal we can get. He has to do time, prison, like anybody else. He's not like anybody else. George. Look, if they're offering resignation, we try to jam him there. If we let him off at the speeding ticket, how's that gonna look to the American people? Americans are pretty good at looking at the score sheet. I'm sure they'll figure out what it means if we force a man from office. That tells him about power, who won it, and about Agnew, the corruption at his core. His career is ending in disgrace. What more do you want? Do you need to make him crawl on his belly? You're damn right. 